Hi, my name is C and today I have a post review for you. Well, a post review and kind of chat about what I did. This is Try to Follow from Colors Out of Place, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, I should start with, I'm going to be chatting about this kit in great detail. It is going to be a long one. Buckle up. <laughs> I started this kit um, January 8th, finished it February 1st. I am a little sad that I did not finish it within the month of January, but it's fine. It is a square, um, 65 by 87 centimeters, 64 colors with four ABs, one fairy dust. As you can see, I have a variety of thoughts over here, but we are going to jump. Um, where did I put my phone? Oh, there it is. <laughs> we are going to jump right on into talking about the diamonds. I am asking where my phone was because I plan on going over the charting with you. If I can remember how to use this phone. Boom, there we go. Awesome. Totally cool. Okay, here are the diamonds. Well, there's a brief look at the kit, but... Here are the diamonds. <laughs> Usually I go over and I say like, here's how many extras I have. I can't do that today. I changed up the charting in this kit. So my extras are not accurate to what is Diamond Art Club's intended rendering. So you would use more drills than I did for certain colors and less for others. Such as, if I didn't black out the very bottom of this kit, you would still have an unopened bag of 310. I blacked out the bottom, so I had to open that bag. But, here's the trash from this kit. It was mainly one color. And it was this one right here. Yes, it was mostly this guy right here that was the trash. The black in here isn't even trash. <laughs> I had spilt the diamonds and they had a bunch had landed inside my trash drill little pot and I was too lazy to pick them out so they went into the trash bags but no these were fine and like that one color just had a bunch of pin pricks on the top so it's totally fine this is our fairy dust for the kit deep purple um 3837 with a silver dusting on the top it was super pretty it was mostly, I can show you this as we go, um, right in here. So that was fun. And then we had this 140, a deeper blue. 132, which was an orange. Two, that was a yellow. And one as this like pinky purpley color. Yeah. So that was fun. Those were fun to place. I really don't have any comments on the drills. That's not true. Uh, ch -ch -ch ah, when I first kitted this up, there was a ton of static. But at that time, when I was taking these drills out of the heat seal baggies, we were in the middle of a deep freeze. Like, it was minus 38, minus 37 Celsius. So, I'm sure that affected the drills. So, meh kind of a mute point the oh yes most of these were the newest diamonds i think they're like 20 faceted some of them are the 13 and the 13 was where i had the most problem with um trash and holes in the top and that but they fit really nicely like i don't know if you can tell from this but they fit nice together so that was my thoughts on the diamonds the next thing I wanted to mention was the perforated cover. And that was not my favorite to work with. Only because I have moved away from sections like that. Um, now, I will break my canvas up into rows and just roll the plastic back and work on it in that row. So I wanted to try out the cover. And going back to sections really slowed me down but also made me realize i didn't really like them anymore like diamond painting in sections again 
So I'm going to stick to my chopping off a row and working on it that way. It was also, um, getting it to tear was not the easiest, like it, it was perforated of course, but trying to get it to keep along that perforation was difficult sometimes. If you didn't pull that just the right angle, it would tear. Now Diamond Art Club has said that they are changing their cover or working on improving that cover. So what I'm saying now could change. So we'll see about that. So to take my complaints, I wouldn't really call them complaints, but take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> okay, now we're getting into the fun bit, which was the main point for me making this. Um, we all know Diamond Art Club has really good rendering. Um, <laughs> it's, where did my picture go? Oh, okay. This phone has not been synced to my iCloud in ages. <laughs> it is trying to sync. Um, where did that cover picture go? Oh, I just had it. That's not it. Uh, imports? Nope. Well, I was not planning on having this issue. That's weird. It should be right here. I just took a look at it. Okay, we'll have to go with this one. I had a better resolution before and I lost it. Ooh, maybe I didn't. I'm gonna pause this and be right back once I figure this out. Boom, got it. <laughs> okay, the photo I was trying to get was Diamond Art Club's rendering from their website so I can do a comparison for you. So, I make changes to charting. Um, I have an entire video up demonstrating how I do these cha charting changes. So if you see this and you see what I'm talking about and that interests you, please check out that video and ask questions there for anything related to those changes. Okay, let's get started. A lot of the first details I did was nothing super major. So like, I took out these seven dots that, that would have been right over here I took out. Just didn't feel like having them there. Next up... There it was, it's right here, which is kind of tricky to see. Let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit more. Uh, sorry for the motion, we're gonna go with that. Okay, so it's kind of, and I know I did this with my iPad last time, it has officially died. So until I can buy a new tablet, we have my old cell phone for this purpose. I apologize, it is. Not working for me anymore. Anyways, so this used to be green right in here, which is this green dot, as well as the two, or like that little green patch here, which is right there. So I took that patch out. And just to the left of it, there was a darker green spot. There was a darker green spot right in here I took out, and all of this in the moon. So there used to be green right here, here, some green and orange, and then pink outlining this, as well as another green patch down here that I took out. So our moon wave thing is just one color, instead of having these um, random patches in it. So that was fun. I'm looking at this and trying to remember what I changed because it's been a while. Ooh, I did this section in that video that I mentioned, which is right up here. So, just some cleaning up and getting rid of these um, patches that I was not a fan of. And this lightest purple right here was supposed to be that fairy dust I took out. Um, I just didn't really think it fit <laughs> so it's gone next up was another patch i did in my video 
This is kind of tricky because it is such a large canvas and it is so unwieldy at times. Cool. Okay. Um, right in here. So we have this purple, this teal. The teal was right up in here. Right here. Took that out. And I also took out this purple and blended it in with the gray. That was fun. Did that in the video if you want to see. I also took out the greens. I changed this yellow patch um, in that video. So I changed that to, from yellow to this green to match this. And I took out the patch of green right here. <laughs> so that was fun. What else did I do? I think I left a lot of the top the same here. Sorry, we're gonna do some shuffling. Awesome. The next major thing, of course, um, oh no, I didn't change that. Oh, I only thought about changing it and I decided not to. Cool. Um, this is the next major change I made. So right, we're going to zoom out just a little bit for this one so you can see it better. Right along here and right here is supposed to be a yellow streak with a tree. And that tree is supposed to be right here. Took those out. I thought they were distracting and drew your eye to the blues so the yellow's gone. I also cleaned up the trees a little bit. Um, just like random patches of or dots of green that were in here. Sorry, we're gonna shuffle this again. Um, random patches of green that were in here. There's like a row cutting right through this tree I didn't like. And then just random colors in the middle of nowhere that I took out. <laughs> and right in here, I simplified the colors. So this was supposed to be a lot longer with some purples right at the end. I just took out the purples. There's supposed to be a patch of purple right in here, took that out. I blended all of this to be blue instead of these purples and browns. So that was cleaned up just to be a little bit more, um, less eye catching because in my mind, this really draws your eye in and I wanted it to be uniform. I don't know how to say that, <laughs> which then leads me to my next biggest change. Let's do another fold flip here. Um, this bottom corner. In diamond art clips, well, we'll hold the phone over here. In diamond art clips, there is patches of color in here, right here, and some random colors up in here. I simply blacked it out. Well, up in here, I kind of did some blending, but everything else I just got rid of. And these two patches of brown that were supposed to be right in here, I thought they were too bright of a brown, so I got rid of them. Did I do anything to the path? Yes. <laughs> so this is supposed to be blue, like a bright blue, and I got rid of that. And then this bottom corner. What did I do over here? Oh, I got rid of three random spots of colors that I just thought were weird. That is... <laughs> All of the changes that I remember. So this is Diamond Art Club's rendering. If I remember, I will put a picture up here instead. And then this is my rendering. Now, I really enjoyed playing with the colors of this one and figuring out all of these changes. I thought it was great fun. Um, Sorry, that was. I'm trying to get it so that it's still visible. Okay, so I thought I'm holding this corner up so that you can actually see the path. 
it was a lot of fun to work on and play with the colors in this one. Um, uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to word this because it did have a lot of random patches and like sure that bottom corner could have stayed the same and looked just as fine but having these random spots of colors just in these trees when they're supposed to be darker was weird to me but I don't know if that was a diamond art club trying to render as true as possible to the artwork and that just being something that happened there or if um it was just something that was lost in translation I don't know but I still think even for all of my changes that this was a gorgeous piece because it has such vibrant colors and it was so much fun to work on yeah <laughs> I actually think that's all I have to say for this guy um yeah oh and I listened to legendary while reading this or while working on this one so that was fun but now this is where I'm going to leave off the video um, I hope it was a little bit helpful to see some of the changes I made. It is such a big kit, so it's so hard to show you the entire thing, as well as all of the changes at once. I'm going to try and remember to put up that rendering in here at some point so you could see the difference yourself. Maybe, actually, while I talk about this and do my little outro thingy, I will put up a picture up over here so you can see some of the differences. This is going to be sideways. The rendering will not be Diamond Art Club's rendering. Anyways, I think I've mumbled and muttered enough about this one. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? I, I really want to know your thoughts on this one. Do you like seeing these changes? Do you like the original rendering better? Um, You let me know. Like, I'm so curious. Do you think I did a decent job blending things in? If I didn't go around pointing things out, could you tell that I changed things? I'm curious. Please, 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 like, choose one to answer, answer all the questions. I don't care. Let me know what you think, please. Anyways, <laughs> this has been a rambling post review of Try to Follow. If you like this video, please consider liking or subscribing, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.